What's up guys, it's Jeremy Mayer from Awkward Gaming, and we are back doing a Dragon Ball Super review, and we're also going to be playing uh, some of the new parallel quests from DLC Pack 2 for Xenoverse 2. Um, <coughs> first of all, uh, we watched episode 81, which was uh, Goku fighting the last uh, wolf brother, I don't know his name, I just remember like the second brother's name was Lavender, or something like that. Yeah, um, it's like something with a B, I forget it. But I want to call him Batamo, but that's, that's literally no, that's another not character. Batamo. That's literally another <laughs> yeah. character. Um, he kind of reminds me of Batamo a little bit, where like he he absorbs damage, but like a little bit of a shocker though. If you guys, uh, by the way, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen it. By the way, oh yeah, definitely. You're like I need to say that because they're like, oh man, you said some stuff and things, and I didn't know, and yeah, you suck. So you know, for you guys, uh, I'm gonna turn it real quick. But I gotta say. Big shocker in the uh, episode. I didn't know that Universe Seven was the weakest, second weakest. Second weakest, yeah. Holy shit, that's like. I mean, he has God level key, and he's the second weakest. Well, okay, okay. So I've always had this theory that um, I, I should have made a video about it a long time ago, but I never did. I've had this theory where like um, most DBZ characters seem to cap out at uh, super perfect cell or around around that level. Yeah. And um, there have been a lot of uh, like like things to support that theory, you know, with the new Universal, well, the Universal Six tournament. Like a lot of the characters, not including Hit, uh, Kaba included, who was like the strongest of the Saiyans, or it's presumed he's the strongest of the Saiyans. He okay, was not I mean, that he strong. He wouldn't be chosen for the tournament if he wasn't. So exactly. That makes sense that he would be the strongest. So um, it's uh, whoa, 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 whoa! I've never seen this move before. <laughs> Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, jeez. They haven't bought us there yet. Um, the so they weren't very strong. Like, most of Universe 6 was not strong uh, comparatively to Universe 7. But then yeah, again, they, remember yeah, Frieza right. was... He, he was considered the strongest in the universe. Yeah. And by D our DBZ standards, um, he's considered pretty, like, weak. But, you know, he's Super Saiyan level strength, he can blow up planets and things like that. That's pretty well, damn strong. Well, now he's Super Saiyan God level strength now. Well, but was, uh, I'm talking about old Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. He was considered, well, when he was alive, he was considered, like, the strongest. So if he was the strongest, that means, like, everybody else in the universe who isn't, like, you know, a god or who isn't, like, weirdly strong because of the plot for anything like that. Oh, we're still fighting. Uh, that means that they're under Frieza. Okay. It makes perfect sense, right? Yeah. So that it would make sense that Universe 7 is like a weak planet if like everybody else is stronger than that. Or a weak universe, I should say. Yeah, but everyone's gotten to like a highly, like they're really strong now to the point where most of the Z Fighters could probably beat Frieza. Yeah. Yeah, but those are, these are the Z Fighters though. Like they're, they're special cases. Yeah. Um, what's it called? So if not including like special cases, uh, everybody else in the you uh, know in the universe would be weaker than Frieza. Blah blah. I've already said that. Um, but if Universe Seven is like the second weakest, wouldn't that mean like the three wolf guys are potentially also not that strong comparatively? I mean, they might be stronger than Frieza, but then they probably capped out somewhere. Yeah, I mean, honestly, well, here's the thing, like, you know when uh, Gohan was fighting that poison dude? Yeah. Gohan could totally beat him without Super Saiyan. He could beat him in base form, so I think they were weaker than Super Saiyan. I, I think, he went Super and Saiyan he, on top of that, he was can was, handicapped with Yeah, the and the reason he went Super Saiyan was so he could, you know, expand his energy and find out where the enemy was. But, I had regular, oh my god, my game just glitched out and I got hit by something, I don't know why. Why you do game? Yeah, the, the game glitched out. The game uh, the game is glitching hard right now. I think somebody's lagging the server. Uh, I'm guessing it's the other guy, not us. Possibly, I don't know. Always blame the other guy. Always Never blame, blame the other yourself. <laughs> um, by the way, we're going by power scaling. We are not experts when it comes to like actually determining people's power levels. I know there's like yeah. YouTubers out there who like spend like a lot of like mathematical reasoning to like get somebody's power level down. We're just comparing. Um, by transformations and like scaling them. If Goku only needs to go Super Saiyan to beat somebody, we're gonna assume that he's like that person is only around like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z's level. Namek Frieza. Namek Frieza. Uh, I want to emphasize, yeah. not Fukatsuno. And yes, Frieza is God level. And yes, we know that um, 
you know, their base form is, is strong too, and they're super safe. No, oh, and shit. Okay, we all know that, back. like, their base form is a lot stronger, Wait, and then Super Saiyan... Are you Saiyan, still in game? Yeah, I'm still in game. Oh, I got kicked out. You give me and then Super fire. Saiyan is also, like, still really strong oh, on top of that. But it's like, just for the sake of simplicity, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So, if somebody goes Super Saiyan 2, we're gonna assume, oh, they're probably either above Cell equal to him, or but below Majin Buu, or something like that, you know? Yeah, Majin Buu is like Super Saiyan 3 level. That's what I would assume. But even though right now, probably like, Gohan and Goku in base form could easily defeat like, Namek Frieza. I know that's probably like how it's supposed to be viewed. But that's a huge rant I just <laughs> went over. Basically, um, the other universes should be like, way stronger than Goku, or at least like, equal to his power. And that should be like, normal to them. So, I'm really curious to see what that new guy, the guy with the, the big mustache and the big forearms, I kind of want him to beat Goku, you know? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it it'll give him a reason to get even stronger, so... I know! It'll yeah. be great motivation, uh, like... How often do we see Goku, like, actually, like, scared? You know? Like, actually feel like, oh my gosh, I can lose this. They had that this. one, uh, hit-up show where, you know, he's like, oh, that's fear, not excitement. No, oh, that's true. Yeah, did that- yeah. whoa, did we just perfect block from his back? That's not even possible! It is now. Yeah, they have like, all- essentially all the teams fighting at once. Which I kinda don't like, cause like, it's just gonna be one- it's just gonna be one big fight and then the tournament's over. Like, what kind of tournament is that? Like, Yu Yu Hakusho, when they did like, team match tournaments, it was great, like, we had individual fights, it lasted a really long time, which is nice, like, lots of content. And, you know, we had people fighting against other people who are, like, equal to their level, or higher, or slightly higher, or whatever, and, like, they just made the fights really interesting. Having a cluster of 80 people fighting at one time, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be super entertaining. I'm really hoping that they're gonna, like, change the rule somewhere. As they go. Well, actually, no, it could be interesting, though, because, and let me give you the reason. You yeah. know how we're going over the episode where, you know, that wolf guy made Goha, uh, Goku to be the villain to all the universes? That means, like, all the universes are going to focus on Universe 7. So, that's going to be interesting. They're probably not going to fight each other, and they're going to fight Universe 7 versus all the other universes. Um, oh, God. Yeah, some universes... Uh, okay, okay, give me a second. Some universes are exempt from uh, being eliminated, which is kind of unfair. But, I guess it just adds, like... Well, I mean, they gave the reason, you know? He's trying to eliminate all the weak universes, so... Yeah, that does make sense. But still. Yeah. But, that's gonna be interesting. So, basically, Universe 7 is gonna be target uh, targeted by everyone. Yeah, I mean, it would be interesting to see, like, all these other older characters, like, uh, come back. I mean, Android 18 and 17 are gonna come up uh, in the tournament, and I'm kind of, like, curious how they're gonna, like, fare against everybody, because, um, they literally cannot get stronger. Like, you know? Yeah, because, like, you know. Yeah, the, if you didn't know, the, their an like, it's said in the show that their androids, that the android, like, power levels, like, stay the same. Yeah, but, I mean, at least that means they never get weaker, so. They never get weaker, but then they also <laughs> never get stronger. But, I mean, they are, like, what, Super Saiyan 2 level, too? So, they can handle most people. Uh, no, they're not Super Saiyan 2 level. They're, like, um, Super Saiyan 1.5. Because, remember, Cell was, uh, was Super, uh, Super Perfect Cell was at Super Saiyan 2 level, and they were afraid oh, of yeah. it. Oh my god, yeah, we're getting some... Did Vados just take all that damage? <laughs> yeah, and... she did, and nothing happened and to her. And nothing happened. stamina went down, nothing happened. This is why PQ... PQs are just so buggy in this game. Alright, we're just throwing... What? Again? Something. Why? It it's... don't work. Because PQs are so buggy, and, you know, we have characters blocking right, with their backs. Let's see if this work. Come on. I, I don't mind using cheap tactics of, you know, just charging and then just shooting an ultimate just to see That's what I'm doing. Out. That's what I've been doing the entire game. Let's see. It's chilling in the corner here. Ooh, Pop it on the I just took that right to the chest. 
Is that actually gonna get her? Oh, it got her! And it did damage, let's go. Oh, hey, well that just stopped the fight. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, that's, like, that's another weird thing about, um... What's it called, the NPCs when you fight them, or the computers? They'll never snap banish until you try to stamina break them. Yeah. And but while you're know. punching them, all of a sudden they'll like do a block and like just stop your thing. And it's just like, well, how am I supposed to like end this quickly, you know? Yeah. Then sometimes like you'll be punching, they'll be getting hit, and the sun will just do a perfect block out of nowhere. Like, what happened to this stun from getting all the hits from before? You just got a perfect block out of nowhere? Okay. I know, right? Oh, okay, he fell into it. Perfect. I have a charge up. Let's see, what else is there to say about Dragon Ball Super? Um, I did like the fight with uh, Gohan and Lavender. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting. I thought, I honestly thought Gohan would lose because you know they've been kind of hating on Gohan, and honestly, essentially I, I, he I did. I thought they were gonna, lose. I thought they were gonna give him like a loss just so they could be like one one, and then Gohan has to do the, like the clincher. The clincher, yeah. I was thinking, but. Uh, I was happy that Gohan didn't lose. I mean, he kind of did, kind of didn't. It's a draw. But I guess in their eyes, a draw is also considered a loss. You know how that is in some games where, like, if you get a draw, it's basically the same as a loss. Like, you know, it's kind of like you, you go in a tournament and the grand prize is, like, 100 bucks. You draw, you're at the final match, you draw with your opponent, and then they're like, alright, you both drew, so none of you guys get the get the money and it's like oh that's the same as losing you know by the way what was that thing that they uh that was like two episodes How ago three episodes ago remember that like, that thing that they threw in that one wolf's mouth and gave him like all that power oh okay is okay. that like a variation of the pre uh, fruit i was gonna say yeah it, it looks say. like okay it looks like uh, a raisin version of the fruit of the tree of money or like a spoiled apple version of it you got spoiled it's like ah uh, has a little I, I, bit I of power i want to think that it's like a dried up version you know you have berries you can eat them fresh you know, you dry them up, they become different. Still kind of taste the same, maybe not. Uh, maybe I'm gonna this guy up. That's what I thought it was. But yeah. they didn't actually... They didn't say, like, officially that it's fruit from the Tree of Might. I kind of no, wish they, they did. I mean, it looks like it, and it worked like it, so I mean... It did. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Uh, they are bringing back, they are bringing like concepts from the movies, you know, oh, the female Broly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's not the... super far fetched Ooh. that the fruit would be like, you know, that. It's just a dried up version. So, eh, could be fun. Could be interesting. This video is going to be like 20 minutes long, I can tell. Ah, we you had to like block against that. And he gained back his stamina. Man, he is gaining back his stamina so fast. Wait, he was gaining his stamina while I was punching him. That's not <laughs> yeah, how the regular happened. game works. Yep, uh, Beers is doing that too. Damn it. Please oh. break before he breaks my stamina. That Please. My stamina. Thank you. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Suck it. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, he dodged. Yeah, his stamina's coming back while I punch him. That doesn't make any sense. There you go. Alright, not eating more, so I can go and my ultimate. Let's go. To the growing. No! <laughs> I cancelled my attack! Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm just, uh, ultimate... Ultimating? Is that a word? Go ahead and uh, spam this ultimate, and uh, easy wins, man. Easy wins. Yeah, easy wins. That giant red sun. And I didn't get to shoot. Interrupted once right. again. Sorry, man. I keep interrupting you. I don't mean to, but it happens. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed our little uh, DBZ Dragon Ball Super episode 81 kind of the other things. Chat, we've talked about pretty much like all the episodes that came Yeah, out. basically. Two. Oh my god, why, why is this a B? This is ranking system doesn't make sense sometimes. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like. Tell us about your opinion, because like our opinions, maybe like they're terrible and you don't like them, so you want to like talk about your better opinions. It's okay. You know, their opinions. 
doesn't mean they're necessarily right or wrong. Actually, some opinions can be right or wrong. Anyway. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>